We're here at the Under-18 European Championship with Balsa Koprovica. Balsa, tell me about this tournament. How has it been going for you so far? I mean, it's been going well. Um, a, lot of, a lot of great teams out here. And it's, a, it's a privilege to play for the national team, obviously. So uh, yesterday we had a tough loss against Spain. Today we, we came back and hopefully against Ukraine we'll, we'll do the same thing as we did today. So. What was your reaction when you were invited to this team? Uh, you know, you left Serbia at a young age. What is it like coming back for you, for a guy who's, you know, really made his uh, his name in, in the U.S.? I mean, it's obviously, like I said, um, it's a privilege. So uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to play, obviously, represent my country. And um, now I'm here, so, yeah. In terms of your style of play, do you consider yourself more of a European style big man or you, have you become more American? Uh, you know, what have you noticed a little bit about the differences between high school, AAU? I mean, you've been in many settings now at very high levels. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of difference. Um, I would say I see myself as more of an American big now since I've, um, I've adjusted to the game, to the U.S. type of game. So. It's a, it's a different style of game here. It's more tactical, you know. Uh, everybody's like playing strong and stuff. And USA basketball is more one-on-one, -on -one, you know, so, so yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you're from, when you started playing basketball, if there are any athletes in your family, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm from Belgrade, Serbia. I started playing basketball when I was seven years old. And uh, my dad was also a pro. Uh, he played for Partizan and a bunch of other teams. Uh, and yeah, I moved to the United States when I was 12, so. What kind of player are you when you're playing your best? What are some of the things that you're doing out there on the floor? Uh, I feel like I can protect the rim uh, very well, uh, play defense, and uh, score, score from the mid range. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think those are my strengths. And uh, I'm also working on my three-point shot. I think I can, I can drive to the basket a little bit, so I'm working on it. What's the next step for you in terms of your evolution as a basketball player? What do you think you need to uh, improve on to reach your full potential? Uh, I think my main thing is just, just put on more weight, get stronger. Uh, and yeah, just get, get faster and stronger, pretty much. And a lot, of, a lot more skill, but I think this year I'm gonna focus mainly on my strength and getting bigger. You decided to um, to move high schools this summer. I read. Um, what was behind that decision, and uh, how are things to be different for you next season? Uh, I felt like uh, that was the best uh, decision. For, that was the best decision for me. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. There are so many different routes now to making the NBA. You could do it, you know, from high school. Some guys are going straight, you know, from there to the NBA. Some guys are doing it from Europe. Some guys are going to college. What do you feel like is the best route for you in terms of putting yourself in the best position to play in the NBA? Uh, I feel like going through college is, is a good route for, for me. But uh, like, like you said, there's a, there's a lot of different options. I can go, I can go to a private school for one year. Maybe I can go overseas, but... Right now, I'm focused on going to college for, for however many years I need. So, yeah, that's it. Great stuff, man. Thanks so much. Thank you.